At a first glance, one would suppose that this was just another suburban house in Lincoln, but it is in fact the Weirfield Wildlife Animal Hospital, situated on Rookery Lane. Alison, tell me, how did this all begin? Um, it started not long after we'd actually moved here. Um, we were sat outside one morning having a cup of coffee as you do and an injured blackbird hopped across the lawn and you think to yourself, hmm, I wonder what happens. And many, many years ago I used to play hockey with the Chief Inspector of the RSPCA and after seeing this blackbird the following day we actually bumped into the RSPCA Chief and um, it all started from there really. And um, we started that year I think with 111 uh, just birds and last year I think we had just over 2,000 animals as well as birds in. So in the few years that we've been doing it, it's certainly grown quite rapidly. They come from various means. They come via the RSPCA, they come via the vets, they come via the general public, they come via the police. It, it's just anybody and everybody who really has got a problem with an animal then they bring it in. So we're a wildlife hospital. We don't go out and do rescues unless it's something like a badger that we don't encourage the public to actually handle because they are quite dangerous. Um, but we do do some um, work with the RSPCA which involves domestic animals. Um, so there will be a few domestic animals here at some points but we don't primarily care for them. Um, we've just been going just over 15 years, which seems like a very long time. <laughs> And during this time, obviously, you've built up quite a body of knowledge about wildlife. Yes, unfortunately, um, when we first started, the, um, it was trial and error. And anything that didn't work, we tried something else next time. And gradually, now, there are books that are helpful. And we, we work along with doing a bit of research to see if this works or that works, and then put that into practice when it does. So it's kind of pioneering ground, really. Um, it can be in some aspects, yes. Oh, lovely colour. She's just not sure what to do, you know. So everything goes back, the camera don't keep anything. I mean, we couldn't return that one because she'd be shot, presumably. She'd just come up to you. She comes up to me like a doll. Oh, right, yes. I see, so you she so you, can't... You couldn't release. Really. Predominantly we're a wildlife hospital rather than um, a sanctuary for domestic animals so we only take those in as and when really. Well this owl came into us about three or four years ago. Um, he'd been hand reared somewhere in Lincoln. Now it's either escaped or just been let loose. Now this bird could never be released back into the wild. It wouldn't be able to survive on its own. Um, and it's the only bird that we actually take to talks. Um, and use them as an educational tool, really, uh, for school children, just for the hospital. There's a lot of feeding going on, isn't there? There's always a lot of feeding going on, yes. So uh, my employers, Alison and David Townsend, uh, when they're not working full time themselves, all their spare time is actually devoted to the hospital as well. So overall, uh, myself, those two, and the committee members seem to spend an awful lot of time doing things just for the hospital. There's a lot of feeding going on, isn't there? There's always a lot of feeding going on, yes. yes. One thing you can't afford to do is get attached to them. Um, obviously, the majority of wildlife, when it's brought into us, the fact that it's actually been found either by a member of the public or, or been brought in by the RSPCA usually means that there's something quite seriously wrong with it in the first instance. So if you get too attached and, and unfortunately that animal dies, then you're on to... Uh, onto a loser really um, and also the, the actual sheer quantity, the sheer volume of animals that we take in every year um, doesn't really allow you time to get attached. You have to try and be quite dispassionate about, about everything that comes in. Do your best for it but um, like I say don't get attached at all. But you do enjoy it? I do certainly enjoy it yes I wouldn't want to uh, do anything else at the moment.